Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's tutorial, it's obviously going to be the bulbul look as you could tell by the title. So we're going to start off with some skincare process. Um, skincare for me today is going to be vitamin C to clear up any sort of like leave-ons on my face. For example, if I did come from cooking or something, it's going to remove all of that dirt or oil on your face. And then I'm going to apply some moisturizer from Pixie. This is their Rose Ceramide Moisturizer. You know, skincare is one of like the most important things, especially for the Bengali women um, in that kind of era, right? So they, I'm sure like most women back in the those day, eras the movie is based on is a lot about skincare. Unlike today, we all try to hide it with makeup. But back in the days, it was all about how natural you are, how beautiful you are with less spots and less, um, you know, skin issues. So I'm going to keep the makeup as simple as I can. So I sprayed some makeup setting spray onto my Studio Fix powder. And of course, as you know, I've already sprayed my face with some rose water. Now using my foundation brush, I'm going to kind of blend the powder and um, with the makeup setting spray. Now if you don't want a makeup setting spray, you can also use rose water directly into your Studio Fix powder and sort of mix it up to create that powder-like mixture. But the reason why I'm using this is because I didn't want to overpower this makeup with lots of foundation. Firstly, because we are trying to portray what's, you know, like a back in the day style. So minimal makeup is what we are going for. So as you can see, this coverage is kind of like a buildable coverage. And also because it's powder form, as soon as it dries, it's going to look nice and it's going to sit really nice to your skin, making your skin look most natural as it can be. Like, right? Because it doesn't give you that full coverage. It gives you a very like medium coverage, light to medium. And if you want full coverage, um, you you could go for foundation. I just stayed away from foundation for specifically this makeup look. So yeah, you can um, you can actually dilute the powder with either makeup setting spray or rose water and apply like the way I'm doing. You know, when I used to go to um, my university, I actually used to do this because it made my skin look so good. In person, this was the best thing. And because I wasn't doing photography in my school, it didn't really matter. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually applying some more powder, but this time using a dry brush and using same powder but this is another one that hasn't been wet so i'm going with nc42 and i'm just basically setting all that in so everything looks a little bit more coverage um so yeah simply i'm i basically used the same powder i wet it with like makeup setting spray or rose water to apply and then i'm doing the same powder using it with a dry brush and now i'm going to set all of that using some makeup setting spray so everything looks flawless and natural to my skin the coverage is very nice honestly it's not that bad but it also gives a very natural look i would really encourage you to try it in by yourself and see how it looks with the naked eyes. Actually, naked eyes will do a much more justice with this makeup look because it actually looks very flawless and effortless and it almost looks like it's your skin. Now for contour, I'm using MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. Again, back in the days, women didn't really contour as much, but as we know, when we look at Bulbul, Bul, she does have a little bit of contour and blush because obviously she's you know in front of the camera uh, and I'm sure she probably have used a very teeny tiny bit of foundation but we're gonna try to stay away from the foundation for this look using the other end of the brush I'm now going to contour my nose very very softly and light-handedly nothing too harsh for this makeup look the way I decided to do this makeup look I think it's something very easy if you are a working woman or if you are a housewife and you want to look good you know for the guests that are coming in this is a pretty perfect easy way to do it so using some highlighter again very soft handedly i'm applying this is the becca highlighter one of my favorite and it is in the shade opal 
We don't want to overdo with the highlighter. We want to keep the glow very subtle as possible. And you will see by the end of it all, like when the powder and your skin releases uh, its own natural oil, the powder and the highlight and everything is just gonna blend in so nicely, making it look like your skin. You know, almost like, oh my gosh, she has no makeup on. You know, it's kind of like that. So yeah, you could go with either or. I'm going with the makeup setting spray to make sure everything blends well. And now I'm going to go with blush a very teeny tiny bit and I'm going to dust away the excess. This is called Pinch Me by MAC. And I'm, I'm basically starting off with the ample of my cheeks and blending it into the contour. Very, very soft handedly as you can tell. As soon as you apply the blush, it kind of blends everything so nicely together. Let me know how you like the base so far. I think it looks amazing. Now for lipstick, I'm using Chicory by MAC. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to outline my lips and then put some uh, liner on the inner part of my lips. I'll show you in a bit what I mean by that. If you're confused, my inner part of the lip? What does she mean? Like here. See what I'm doing right now? Just a little bit on the inner part. So it looks like kind of like natural, you know? <clears throat> Sorry. Now, as you know, I like a little bit of the fuller lock, fuller lip lock. Um, that's what Bulbul Bul has it too, so I actually overlined a little bit. And then using some Vaseline, I'm going to blend all of that liner into my lips. And that's it for the lips. Now moving on to the eyebrows. I'm first going to make sure they're all brushed out nicely before I move in and I start filling it in. So I always like to fill in the inner corners and then I always like to fill in that upper top edge where the arc is because now that's what's gonna make my eyebrows look fuller so that's it so inner corners and I'm gonna create that small hair like strokes and then I'm gonna move on to the arch and that's what's gonna make my eyebrows look like they're full so that is it now for the eyeshadows, I'm going to move on. These two are basically the same colors and it is called Wood Winged by MAC. Before I applied it, um, I actually sprayed my brush with some makeup setting spray so it picks up the color really well. And it's a very, very, very natural color tone to my skin tone. Again, for this makeup look, I wanted to keep everything as subtle as possible and very easy, simple steps. You know, you guys can easily do this. And I swear on God, guys, you should do this and you'll see what I mean when I say like it's not the best makeup for cameras to catch. Like if you're going for obviously flash photography and all that. Um, but when it comes to natural makeup, this is like, the best makeup ever. It's going to look seamless. The base is going to look so seamless with the naked eye. But if you are going for a flash photography and all that, definitely you want to have some foundation underneath. So I'm going to take Charcoal by MAC and I'm going to blend that gajo that I just put on. This is the eyeliner from Marc Jacob in shade black. And I'm just smudging it out because um, if you look at her makeup as well for Bobo, back in the days people loved wearing like the actual gajo, right? Especially when we talk about Bengali women, they loved the, that kajal look and that's with every other Indian woman as well kajal is what you know makes her eyes look really nice and bold especially compliments um, brown eyes you know so it definitely looks nice using my Suba um, water liner um, palette this is actually like activated with water I'm going to create that big Bengali bindi and then I'm going to start with some mascara right now you want to do a couple of coats if you're not wearing lashes you can do a couple of coats so it looks nice and thick uh, if you are wearing lashes like I'm going to it's fine you can do a minimal amount of coats 
Okay. So now I'm going to wear my extensions because I do not have that Bengali long beautiful hair. <laughs> so I'm going to make it look like I have long hair using some extensions by Irresistible Me. I'm just using this big chunk from their extensions. This is one of my favorite extensions because if you wear one of them, it just does the job. So I like it. That way I don't have to wear a whole bunch of layers. So I'm just going to wear this huge chunk the back and that's it and then I'm gonna wear two on the sides and pop them on and that's it I'm gonna do the same for this side as well all right, so now once it's done, I'm just going to curl the first two little strands on my head just to kind of give like a nice clean look right there. And I'm using and the barrel is like one inch barrel. Okay, again, it's going to be away from the face. Um, and at the same time, you want to make sure the top kind of gives you that wave kind of look. Like that kind of wave. It doesn't have to be a big, big wave, but just a little bit, so it looks like you know you have a you have a little bit of that lifted hair. I'm gonna pop some lashes on. I already have lashes on one of my other eyes. I'm gonna just pop some lash on this eye as well because I feel like lash kind of makes your eyes look nicer. For me, lashes kind of brings everything together. So that is it. And I'm going to put some more mascara just to make sure my eyelashes blend together with the lashes. And that's it, guys. A very, very, very natural makeup look. I wore, I don't have the perfect nose ring for this look, so I just wore my earring and my jewelries and sari to get the complete look i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial this was a really quick quick tutorial very easy to do and if you guys happen to have create this base let me know what you guys think of it because it's honestly one of the most natural base i've ever done on camera so i hope you guys will enjoy this thank you so much for watching guys i will see you on my next video till then take care have fun and stay safe. And yes, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel.